record another dreary weekend across the south. I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. And I'm meteorologist Felicia Combs. And don't get mad at the messengers, but we've got more rain for the south next week. But hopefully with the rain, we don't see anything like this. Of course, you've got the... the really strong tornado moving through. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff. Well, no organized severe weather expected here for parts of the Northeast today, but storm blustery as we are going to be dealing with these wind gusts across the Northeast with this setup as well. So you've got the wind, you've got the rain, you've got the cloudy conditions, and in some places you've also got the snow there across portions of New England. Soggy starts in the morning in NYC. Boston, same thing for you up into Syracuse, Burlington, that rain moving through right now. As we, as we take a closer look, you can see uh, New York up to Bridgeport into Hartford, Actually, Hartford, you're getting some moderate to heavy rain right now. Pretty much cleared out in Philly, but the roads are still going to be wet as you're heading out early this morning. And then taking it up into New England, you can see uh, portions of New Hampshire up into Maine actually getting some of that snow falling at this point. Most of the area across the Northeast seeing rain from this system. We've got a really, uh, uh, you can really make it out here on the water vapor, a defined uh, trough moving through, and that is going to continue to make this an unstable weather pattern. That's in the upper levels. At the surface, we've got this cold front. You can kind of see we've got the occluded front, so starting to see this wrap up, but we've got the warm front lifting north today and then the cold front sweeping through, so that's the perfect kind of recipe to get some of that rain and uh, maybe some storminess here or there. Those showers are going to continue to track east. As mentioned, there's really not a lot of cold air to work with, so this is mostly a rain maker. Here's what we're expecting. The rain still across much of eastern New York State and much of Massachusetts up into Maine as we head through the early afternoon. But you'll notice this does begin to clear out as we get into 4 or 5 o'clock across most of the northeast. The current winds gusting up to 21 miles per hour in Pittsburgh, and these gusty winds are going to stick around as we it's there on the camera. Now, here's the good news. It's not going to be rainy all day for you. We're going to see improving conditions. But let's get you through where we're dealing with the rain right now. You can see generally that rain moving across the Great Lakes region, across the northeast into New England. Not just rain, though. We've got some snow showing up across portions of New England. New York, you've had a soggy start, but you're starting to see the tail end of those showers moving through. Uh, Hartford, you're still stuck in it. And then up into Boston, it's a soggy morning for you. Where we've got the snow falling, included in portions of northern Maine, Bangor, you've had some uh, a mix really move through, but that has since cleared up. Berlin, you're kind of stuck there in that wintry mix and that snow, so a bit of a mess for you. Here's what's going on. You can make it out really well on the water vapor. We've got this dip in the jet stream, a vigorous uh, low that's going to continue moving to the east. Now, here's the thing. We don't have a lot of cold air to work with. A lot of that cold air is still trapped up in Canada, but we've got plentiful moisture being steered up the coast in the, the warm sector of this system. So really, we're getting quite a few rain showers out of this. We're not getting a lot of snow out of it. You can see the rain continues to clear out as we head into the afternoon. So here's lunchtime. Still some rain for Burlington and Boston up into Bangor. But the time we get to your afternoon commute, say 5 p.m., PM. It's going to look clearer in Burlington and it's going to look better in Boston as well. Here's the other problem with this system. Very gusty winds. We've got winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour in Pittsburgh, 32 in Buffalo. We've got some wind advisories sprinkled around the northeast as well. And it's not stopping there. We're going to continue with these very gusty winds as we head through the afternoon. Boston, you could see wind gusts upwards of 50 miles an hour.